a nice pickup. Williams again spins out of a tackle, but then tripped up. Did a great job to keep his balance. You see the talent on full display there. After a 14-yard punt, Notre Dame takes over, and Cohen looking downfield. In the double coverage, it's pulled in by Mayer. That was a great throw by Cohen to Mayer. And nine touchdowns. Tyree is in the backfield here. Cohen to the air. Throws end zone, and it's caught. Anthony Johnson for a 26-yard game. Well, it's an outstanding individual effort. Mandy Alonzo gets penetration right now, almost gets a tackle for loss. A sidestep by Diggs. And how about the athleticism to go up and over? First down at the Virginia 26 in Cavalier territory for the third time here in the opening quarter. And Cone to throw. And fires across to Mayer, makes a man miss at the 20, gets the first down, and finally thrown down at the 10-yard line by Nick Jackson. Cone to throw on third down and goal, dumping it off inside the five-yard line and into the end zone, Braden Lindsay with the Notre Dame touchdown. Nice job by Braden Lindsay going up and over, finding his way in for a Notre Dame touchdown. And Dusty, you gave Tommy Reese a sh Expect more pressure here. See Notre Dame up around the line of scrimmage. Third down and long. Wolf up, throws a strike. Thompson with a first down catch. Maybe that will settle down the freshman quarterback as he delivers to Thompson. On second and seven. Wolfolk steps up. This he can do well. First down into Notre Dame territory. So third down and five. And oh boy, that, that was dead from the start. Ramon Henderson, who's playing safety this week. Left tackle in the NFL with the Chiefs, two-time All-Pro. Going to throw on third and five. And wide open across the middle is Kyron Williams, who has excellent hands but also how excellent as a route runner and catching the football. So Buckner is in a quarterback, and they pitch it to Styles on the reverse. And he breaks a tackle and gets the first down, keeps his feet, stays in bounds, inside the 10, and into the end zone. There is a flag down. 16, Colsey got that left hand outside the framework of eight Darius Bratton. It's the right call. Ninth play of the possession. Williams again being patient finds the cutback makes a sweet move at the 15 yard line inside the 10 inside the 5 he dives and he's in for the Notre Dame touchdown, touchdown what a run by Kyron Williams watch the patience here Dave right here now freeze it sees the cutback lane takes it just an excellent job having the patience. And then you see in the open field, making defenders miss. Great balance on the sideline. Number nine, Notre Dame. The comfortable lead, Virginia, second and seven. And a shot here, down the field, double coverage, and it is intercepted. Picked off by Ramon Henderson. Making an extremely athletic play and a quality interception in three straight games for the first time since 1992, but shut out so far. Wolfhook has a completion and a first down. That's the first catch of the night for Dontavian Wicks. Missed last year due to injury. Time to throw here on first down, and a strike in traffic. It's Wicks again inside the Notre Dame 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back completions to Wicks. He'll throw it here, swing it out. Kemp with some blockers, and he's inside the 25-yard line, and they finally get into the ground at the 20. The three best plays of the night. Back-to-back -back plays of no yards, and now a sack as Wolfolk is thrown down by Bo Bauer, who has been terrific. And 19 for Notre Dame. Play fake for Cohn. Pressure coming. It was picked up late, and Cohn throws it deep, and an interception in midfield by Anthony Johnson. Second interception for Johnson. Poor decision here by Jack Cohn. He's got plenty of time to survey the field, and it's outstanding coverage by Anthony Johnson. And he all of a sudden becomes the receiver on this round. Pass overthrown. 
He locates it, high points it, and a big takeaway for Virginia. That was Jack Cohn forcing the issue, just trying to make a play when really there was nothing there. And they have Keaton Thompson in. We've seen this a lot tonight. He fumbles the ball. It's recovered, though, by Virginia. Looked like one of the offensive linemen came up with the ball, so pushing and shoving afterwards. Fourth down and five. Wolfolk with time for a moment, and then he gets planted. Riley Mills was getting blocked, and all of a sudden he broke free. And here comes some trickery by Notre Dame. Lindsay on the reverse, has some room. Down to the 30-yard line of Virginia. So a huge play for Notre Dame. A good execution. On the reverse to Lindsay. See that speed in the open field. Nice job on the perimeter there once again. That's Mayer then going back out. Flexed out of third down. Cohn going the other way. Single coverage. And the pass was on the money to Kevin Austin. It's a Notre Dame touchdown. Penalty marker is down. Kyles and Colsey and Lindsay. Lindsay has a touchdown. Austin, their number one receiver. That, that's as good as it gets right there. Wolfolk and Keaton Thompson is loose inside the 30 yard line and finally pushed out of bounds. Wolfolk being chased. And what a catch! Man, Keaton Thompson reaching out, stabbed that ball out of the air. Wolfolk looking left all the way, now steps up to run and gobbled up. Adam Lola was there. So Farrell already missed a 44-yard try. Will attempt the 34-yarder to get Virginia on the board. And in the conversation for the college football playoff, pending what happens in front of them, of course. Buckner again throwing it downfield. And oh, what a catch by Mayer. The ball was on the back of the linebacker, Nick Jackson. For a big play. Wow, how about the athleticism of Michael Mayer? Concentration on the back of Jackson and the strength with that right hand to pull it off his back and secure the catch as he goes to the ground. With one hand. 22 yards down to the 36 yard line. Keep it on the ground here with Diggs inside the 30, breaking tackles. And inside the 20, finally stopped at the 17-yard line. Really, the only thing he hasn't done is take that next step and win a national title. Ball on the ground. And recovered by Virginia. You see Buckner and Diggs not on the same page, and it's the second giveaway by Notre Dame the different ways he's able to impact this offense. Play fake here. Buckner still in there at quarterback. And a sweet move by true freshman tight end Mitchell Evans. Behind Oregon's win in Columbus. That's exactly right. I, I think it's a fair point. Look, Cincinnati on fourth down. Notre Dame doesn't get it here as Diggs is taken down. And they turn it over on downs. Virginia will get the ball back. 28-3, though Notre Dame's going to win and go to 9-1. And, and I think the biggest part to see if those goals will be truly attainable Obviously, the helps of their quarterback, Brennan Armstrong, who was unable to go today as Wolfolk goes down once again for the eighth time tonight. Notre Dame took the foot off gas pedal a little bit here late, going to the backup quarterback with about seven minutes to go. It's a good throw there. Nice catch, too. Juggled by Thompson, but he pulls it in. Doesn't catch initially, but able to haul it in. He really has, Tom. You know, this is... There's a lot of stuff on this tape that he'll be able to learn and grow from. Wolfolk to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Picked off by D.J. Brown is bringing it back out and tracked down backside at about the 15-yard line. Pass a little bit high for Keaton Thompson. He tries to bring it in. Then it's the old tip drill and a pick for D.J. Brown. Will be interesting Tuesday night to see with Oklahoma, which was currently a slot in front of Notre Dame, with them losing. You know, does Notre Dame jump? Michigan State. Does Notre Dame jump Michigan? All those teams have one loss. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.